Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Loft in 3ds Max. I have already created a scene where I have created a a I mean a shape or a shape of piece of a geometry by using the Loft. Now, Loft is a kind of a geometry which can be produced through the different kind of a merging different kind of shapes. So let's see how to do that. Just delete this uh, lofted object and you can see there's a very basic line or path has been created. Now this has been created through a helix option in under the shapes and under the splines in 3ds Max. So you can create that helix by click and drag on the viewport. So I'm not going to show you how to create because I'm assuming that you have already have that a basic knowledge of that. So now this particular path which is an open curve will definitely work as a path and these three uh, spline object which is two of them are uh, circles and another one is the star will be act as a shape. So the star can be found on the same where you can see the helix just above that you can see the star you can click and drag and I have created this uh, corner smooth by using this fillet radius options over here you can see this something like this so that's it now for creating the lofted surface you have to select at least one of the uh, curves or spline you have created now if you go to the geometry under the geometry if you go to compound object you'll see the loft has been inactive if you are not selected any any kind of a spline object so there are two ways to create a lofty surface. One is by selecting the shapes, which will be these three, and or by the path on which the object will create the shape. So any of them you can start with. I prefer to start with the path. So select that particular path and go to loft, hit loft, and then I can set uh, the get shape option and then click on the small circle first and immediately you can see the object has been created the geometry has been created so now what we will do if I hit F3 you can see if you take a closer look there's a small uh, cross point yellow color cross point at the bottom of that particular lofted surface if you go to the modify panel there is an parameter that is called path this particular star is going to you know uh, we can change its position by increasing or decreasing the path parameter if we increase you can see that that particular star or maybe the plus point is actually traveling through that particular path that we have created as a helix you can see it's traveling and at the hundred it, you will see that it reached the top so what is the use of this? Now after I putting it to 50% or maybe you can say 50% of this path, I want to use another shape which will be my another circle like click on the gate shape, the path is on 50 and you can take this. Now you can see that by pressing F3 again, it's actually transforming from one or one shape to another shape from small circle to a big circle now this is very interesting now through which you can actually create the entire surface now I will go to hit the hundred percent and on the hundred percent I will select the star and immediately you can see that star has been taken from and it has been morphed it's looking like a morphed object which has been from star to uh, sorry from circle to star so this is how the uh, lofted surface can be created. Now, if you select the lofted surface and go to the modify panel by hitting just, uh, select that object, Oops, sorry, yeah, select that object, and if you go to the modify panel, now you can see there are skin parameters. In the skin parameter, what is the most important uh, 
option which you should on which is a linear interpolation now see what is the linear interpolation is actually doing linear interpolation is actually making the transformation of the shape from one shape to another shape a very precise way now you can see the there is a deformation happening uh, if it is not a linear uh, uh, interpolation so I prefer that linear interpolation if you are having in uh, normal issues you can uh, flip the normals also now there's an option for the start cap and the end cap if you want to open which will look like a gramophone old gramophone record or something like that if you want to create you can create by opening the uh, the end cap or you can uh, also close it so apart from the skin parameters one is a really really important one that is the deformations now there are two three kind of, of uh, five kind of deformation that you can use scale twist teeter and bevel fit so it's very easy to use if you click on the scale you will get a graph kind of a uh, window where you can actually set the scale deformation according to your requirement like this one is your initial scale and this one is your end scale of the entire object now you can I want my uh, object to be scaled a bit more than the base. You can increase the base again. You can decrease the, you know, the entire surface or entire shape or entire geometry like that. And you can type on the values also. This is a hundred percent scale, which is a default value. You can increase or decrease select by selecting those points, and you can type in typing this value to fifty. You can so now you can see this 50 percent scale has been scaled down so make it 100 and go into default a similar way you can use twist you can see nice way to create a different kind of a object yeah so you can make it a zero by default value in the similar way you can use this teeter when bevel and fit now there is another secret that as this particular lofted object has been created through this uh, by using these shapes this must be some connection through it but if you scale them you see nothing will happen because this object is not actually connected through the scaling but by the shapes information so if you increase the radius value you can see the change is happening on that particular object now I generally uh, not consider or maybe I, I generally don't uh, suggest to do so because uh, this will create a lot of you know confusion apart from that you can use one more thing by going to the loft and you can see under the loft there are two different options one is a shape and another one is a path now if you go to shape you can actually manually access these particular shapes and in fact you can push them to repositioning them into the lofted surface and here you can actually literally scale in and scale out or scale down or scale up the entire to affect the entire surface now select this you can scale down or scale up the entire thing so this is the way you can actually control now either of them either if, if you go for the your basic source where you actually can get a you know a radius or else you can control it from the inside of the loft so these are the more or less uh, the uses of the loft and how can you can actually use it so hope you understand and thank you very much please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Twitter and also Facebook. Thank you very much.